Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Longoost Grille. Grilled Spiny Lobster, a popular seafood delicacy enjoyed on the islands. Longoost Grille, also known as Grilled Lobster, is a popular seafood delicacy enjoyed in Comoros and other coastal regions with abundant seafood. Longoost refers to spiny lobster, a type of lobster with long spines and a hard exoskeleton. Here's more information about Longoost Grille. Fresh Lobster. Longoost Grille is made using fresh spiny lobsters, which are caught from the nearby ocean waters. The lobsters are known for their sweet and succulent meat. Grilling Process. To prepare Longoost Grille, the lobsters are split open along their length, and the meat is exposed. The lobsters are then seasoned with a blend of spices and marinade, which may include garlic, lemon juice, olive oil, herbs, and local spices. Grilling Method. The seasoned lobsters are then grilled over an open flame or a barbecue. The grilling process imparts a smoky flavor to the lobster while cooking the meat to perfection. Serving. Once grilled, the longoost grille is typically served hot and can be enjoyed as a standalone dish or as part of a larger seafood feast. It is often presented whole on a platter, making it a visually appealing and inviting dish. Accompaniments. Longoost grille can be served with various side dishes and condiments, such as rice, fresh salads, bread, or a zesty dipping sauce. The sides complement the rich flavors of the lobster and enhance the dining experience. Special Occasions Longoost Grille is considered a special treat and is often served during festive occasions, celebrations, and gatherings, where it is shared and enjoyed among family and friends. As a coastal nation with a bounty of seafood, Comoros takes pride in its Longoost Grille, showcasing the country's appreciation for fresh and flavorful seafood dishes. The grilled lobster is a culinary delight, loved by locals and visitors alike, and it represents the country's coastal heritage and rich culinary traditions. Lang Lang Tea. A fragrant tea made from Lang Lang flowers, known for its soothing aroma. Lang Lang Tea is a unique and fragrant herbal infusion made from the flowers of the Lang Lang tree, Kanenga odorata. The Lang Lang tree is native to Southeast Asia but is also cultivated in some parts of Comoros, including the island of Anjouan, which is known for its Lang Lang plantations. Lang Lang is highly valued for its sweet and floral fragrance, which is why its flowers are used to make tea and other scented products. Here's more information about Lang Lang tea. Lang Lang flowers. The tea is made from the fresh or dried flowers of the Lang Lang tree. The flowers are hand-picked and then used to infuse the tea with their aromatic properties. Fragrance and flavor. Lang Lang flowers have a distinctive and alluring scent characterized by sweet floral notes with hints of fruitiness. The tea made from these flowers inherits this delightful fragrance, creating a soothing and aromatic beverage. Preparation. To make Lang Lang tea, the fresh or dried Lang Lang flowers are steeped in hot water allowing the aromatic compounds to infuse into the water and create the fragrant brew. The tea can be brewed alone or mixed with other herbs or teas for added flavors and benefits. Medicinal Uses Lang Lang tea is believed to have various medicinal properties, including its potential to relieve stress, anxiety, and promote relaxation. It is sometimes used as a natural remedy to improve mood and reduce tension. Served hot or cold Lang Lang tea can be enjoyed both hot and cold, depending on personal preferences and the climate. In Comoros, it is often served hot to provide comfort and relaxation. Cultural Significance Lang Lang tea is deeply ingrained in Comoros culture and history. The Lang Lang tree is a symbol of prosperity and is an essential part of the country's economy due to its use in the perfume industry. Lang Lang tea reflects the island's connection to nature and the appreciation for its unique botanical treasures. Lang Lang tea is not only a delightful and aromatic beverage but also a cultural treasure in Comoros. It offers a sensory experience through its soothing fragrance and can be a comforting and calming drink to enjoy on the islands or anywhere the Lang Lang flowers are cultivated and cherished. Sambusa. Similar to samosas, these are deep-fried pastries filled with meat, vegetables, or lentils. Sambusa, also known as samosa, is a popular street food and snack that can be found in various parts of the world, including Comoros. It is a triangular or cone-shaped pastry filled with a savory mixture of meat, vegetables, and spices. Sambusa is loved for its delicious flavors and portability, making it a convenient on-the-go treat. Here's more information about sambusa. Filling. The filling for sambusa can vary depending on regional preferences and availability of ingredients. 
Common fillings include spiced ground meat, such as beef, chicken, lamb, or mutton, vegetables, such as potatoes, peas, or lentils, and aromatic herbs and spices. Pastry. Sambusa is wrapped in thin pastry dough made from flour, water, and sometimes oil. The dough is rolled out, and the filling is placed in the center. The pastry is then folded into a triangular shape or cone, sealing the filling inside. Cooking method. Sambusa is typically deep-fried until it becomes golden brown and crispy. The frying process gives the pastry a delightful crunch and a satisfying texture. Variations. While the classic sambusa is filled with a savory mixture, some variations include sweet fillings, such as a blend of coconut, sugar, and nuts. The shape and size of the pastry can also vary, with some regions making larger or smaller versions. Serving. Sambusa is often served hot and can be enjoyed as a standalone snack or as part of a larger meal. It is commonly served with chutney, yogurt sauce, or a spicy dipping sauce, adding extra flavor to each bite. Cultural significance. Sambusa is enjoyed in many cultures and countries, including Comoros, India, the Middle East, and parts of Africa. It reflects the culinary diversity and cultural exchange that has shaped global cuisine. Sambusa is a delicious and versatile street food that has won the hearts of people worldwide. Its savory filling and crispy pastry make it a delightful snack that can be enjoyed at any time of the day. Whether served in Comoros or in other parts of the world, sambusa is a grilled octopus. Tender octopus grilled and seasoned with spices, served as a flavorful snack. Grilled octopus is a delectable seafood dish enjoyed in various coastal regions around the world, including Comoros. Octopus is a cephalopod mollusk with a tender and flavorful meat that becomes even more delicious when grilled to perfection. Here's more information about grilled octopus. Fresh octopus. Grilled octopus starts with fresh octopus, either caught locally or sourced from nearby waters. The octopus is known for its unique texture and taste, which is best highlighted through grilling. Cleaning and tenderizing. Before grilling, the octopus needs to be cleaned and tenderized. The cleaning process involves removing the beak, internal organs, and ink sac. Tenderizing techniques, such as freezing and thawing or mechanical pounding, help to break down the tough muscle fibers and make the meat more tender. Grilling method. Grilled octopus is typically cooked over an open flame, charcoal grill, or barbecue. The high heat of the grill sears the exterior of the octopus, creating a smoky and charred flavor while locking in its natural juices. Seasoning. Octopus is often marinated with a blend of herbs, spices, and seasonings before grilling. Common marinade ingredients include olive oil, garlic, lemon juice, oregano, paprika, and salt. Cooking time. Grilling octopus requires careful attention to avoid overcooking, which can result in tough and rubbery meat. The cooking time can vary depending on the size of the octopus and the grilling method used. When properly grilled, the octopus meat should be tender and have a slightly firm, yet delicate texture. Serving. Grilled octopus is typically served hot and can be enjoyed as a standalone dish or as part of a seafood platter. It is often presented with simple accompaniments like lemon wedges, olive oil, and fresh herbs. Cultural significance. Grilled octopus is a dish appreciated in various culinary cultures, reflecting the coastal heritage of communities with access to fresh seafood. In Comoros and other coastal regions, it represents a connection to the ocean and a celebration of the natural bounty it provides. Grilled octopus is a delightful and flavorful seafood delicacy that appeals to seafood lovers. Its enticing aroma and tender texture make it a sought-after dish in Comoros and beyond, showcasing the appeal of freshly grilled seafood in global cuisine. Baguette Comorienne. A local version of French baguette, commonly enjoyed with various fillings. Baguette Comorienne refers to a type of bread that is popular in the Comoros, an island nation in the Indian Ocean. As the name suggests, it is a variation of the classic French baguette, with adaptations to suit the local tastes and ingredients available on the islands. Here are some key characteristics of Baguette Comorienne. Shape and size. Baguette Comorienne closely resembles the traditional French baguette, characterized by its long and narrow shape. However, the size and length may vary depending on the bakery or region. Ingredients. Baguette Comorienne is made from simple ingredients like flour, water, salt, and yeast. The flour used may vary between different types of wheat flour or a combination of wheat and local grains. Local Adaptations. 
To cater to the preferences of Comorian consumers, Baguette Comorienne might incorporate some adaptations and variations, such as a slightly softer crumb or a sweeter taste. Baking process. The bread is typically baked in a hot oven, resulting in a crispy crust and a soft interior. The baking process ensures that the baguette has the desired texture and flavor. Accessibility. Baguette Comorienne is a staple food and is readily available in most bakeries and markets throughout the Comoros. It is commonly consumed by locals as a part of their daily meals. Versatility. Baguette Comorienne is a versatile bread that can be enjoyed in various ways. It can be used as a sandwich base, served with soups and stews, or simply eaten with butter or spreads. Baguette Comorienne reflects the influence of French colonial history on the island's culinary culture. It is a beloved food item that has become an essential part of the daily diet in Comoros, combining the convenience of a traditional baguette with local adaptations that cater to the tastes and preferences of the people living on the islands.